Hello, welcome back to part two of my two-part series, Graphing with this Universal Gravitation Simulation. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a graph of your first forces versus the m1 times m2 over r squared values. Remember, the slope of this graph will give me this g. So let's begin. I'm going to click Insert, and I go over to Charts, and the chart I'm going to choose is a scatter chart. Now, your graphs may do this, may automatically choose values for you. If that's the case, no worries. You right-click your uh, graph and you click Select Data. I'm going to remove anything that it automatically adds. And I'm going to add my own data to this. So I guess I'll, I click, sorry, I should redo that so you can see. Under Legend Entries, I go to Add. And I'm going to call this series name, I guess, Universal gravitation constant and my series x values are going to be the m1 times m2 over r squared so with this selected I just click equals and then I grab the first entry under this column and I slide down and these will be all my x values my series y values make sure you have your equal sign and then I grab all of the force values and I slide down and I click OK cool now we need to add some information to this graph. You're going to click the green plus sign, and you want to add axis titles. And the title for the x-axis will be m1 times m2 over r squared. That's acceptable. And uh, this will have units of kilograms squared per meter squared. Nice. And this will have, this will be force. And in parentheses, I have units of newtons. Very nice. Now, how do I get my slope of this graph? I click the green arrow again, and I go down to trend line. And let me move this screencast over so you can see what I do now. When I select trend line, I go to this black arrow on the right and I'm going to go to more options. Now this will pop up. Make sure I have these green vertical bars selected and I scroll down to display equation on chart. So there we go. There's my equation and you can see there is my slope value. So this will be my value for G, 7E negative 11. And this will have units of Newtons per kilogram squared times meter squared. So those will be the values. That's the value for the slope. Yeah, so again, this will have units, this 7e negative 11, my slope value, will have units of a Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. And let's see, if you can figure out how to simplify this, these units, knowing that a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. And now with this information, you should be able to complete your Word document. To put this graph into Word, all you have to do is control copy and control paste it into Word. Well, that's all I have for you today. Good luck on this activity, and I hope you learned something. Goodbye.